hopefully it turned out good today it is not burnt but good morning you guys welcome back to a new vlog today is monday and it's seven in the morning right now i am actually doing a really fun day today with okay this is what i have them named us now engaged caitlin and pregnant caitlin we are getting a day bed at red rock today and you don't have to stay at the hotel to go to the hotel you can reserve like day beds or cabanas and then you just pay for it it's a hundred dollars for a day bed for the day and then one of engaged caitlin's friends is also going i haven't met her yet but so we only have to pay like 25 dollars each which is a really good deal to be able to go lay out all day and then we can get like food or drinks while we're there last time i got this insanely good fruit platter so i think i want to get one again but it just worked out that we all could go today which i think will be such a fun thing to do just have some girl time lay out get a tan swim in the pool it's not too hot today it's like 92 i think is what the high said which is actually a lot better for tanning weather because it's when it's over 100 you don't really want to lay out like outside of the water but you're fine to like be in the pool so it's good that we're going to red rock on a day that's kind of I don't know cooler out which i know probably sounds like insane but it actually is for vegas right now because it's been like over 100 every single day except this past weekend it was like in the 80s and i didn't vlog over the weekend i had a lot of editing to catch up on and i spent time with brandon and his family yesterday was father's day so happy father's day to all the fathers out there i was able to talk to my dad my dad and my brother are fishing in alaska now again and they'll be gone for the entire summer they'll probably come back sometime in september so it's a bit of a bummer and it's always sad that i don't ever get to see my dad on father's day like i don't remember ever a year in my life when i saw him so yeah that's tough but he was able to talk and i wish him a happy father's day and all of that and yeah i made a couple of tiktoks over the weekend it cleaned up a bit which i still need to clean again so i'll probably do that and then i also am leaving on a trip on wednesday and i'm a very exciting trip coming up so I'll fill you in on all of that, but I have to pack for the trip and get ready to go. So I'm not going to do any of that today. I did start trying to plan out my outfits a little bit yesterday, but I'll mostly do that tomorrow. So today is a pool day and then tomorrow I'm just going to be packing for my trip. But I'm going to go do a workout this morning because I want to work out before we lay out today. And I'm just going to do some type of like glutes and either hamstrings or quads workout. I want to do like a leg focus workout today. Or actually maybe I should just do a little bit of all of it because I won't really work out that much this week since I'm going on my trip. So yeah, today will be a leg workout day. It's so bright in my room right now. It looks so pretty out. Even last night when Brandon and I were driving home from his parents' house, it was like 7.30 and it wasn't even sunset yet. It was so bright. And I remember when like a couple months ago we would drive home and it would be like pitch black. So the fact that it's just like so bright out now makes me so happy. Every aspect of summer I love. I love the dry heat. I love the sun. I just love everything about it. My birthday is kind of in summer. Well, I guess it's fall because it's like September, but still around summertime. And yeah, I need to pick my set out today. I do not know what I want to wear. I have so much laundry to do, you guys, especially since I'm leaving. Like I have to clean everything. I should throw some laundry in before I do my workout and then also when I go to Red Rock because I feel like I'm a little bit behind on it. I didn't even do any laundry this weekend, which I really should have done. I just wasn't even thinking about it. I was like having a full-on chill mode weekend. 
all ready for my workout. I put my hair up in a high pony and then this Lululemon sports bra, but the back is so cute with the crisscross straps. And then these are the Lululemon line shorts. For shoes, I just have on the Baby Hay Iconic Sneakers, which they are the Air Max 270s, and they're my favorite Nike sneaker. They're really good for walking or upper body days, but they're honestly not very good shoes for leg day workouts. I usually will just take my shoes off for some of the exercises, and I've worn them in the past for leg days a lot, but I've just heard, and Brandon has also told me that they're not like the best shoe, so I wouldn't necessarily get them for that they're really comfortable to do like errands or just like wear athleisurely too so I do love the shoes but I know that they're not really great for leg days a lot of people will wear Converse and then I've also heard that the Nike Metcons are really good so I don't know I want to get a new pair of shoes that I can wear on leg days but I haven't found like the right one to order yet so I'll keep you guys updated on that but yeah, I'm gonna head down and get my workout done. Gotta finish my coffee. I keep getting mystery packages that I know for a fact are not PR. This is from Amazon, which I did not order anything from Amazon, and it's kind of heavy. Also, I had gotten another package from Aritzia that was a $75 gift card, and I filmed opening it on TikTok, but I didn't know who that was from either. Probably from one of my parents, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> it says it's the complete book of Corvette. And Brandon has a Corvette, so my dad definitely just ordered this for him. It actually looks cool, though. I mean, I would want this as a coffee table book, but I know that it's not for me. I also got another PR package from Necessaire. They sent me the body serum and the body lotion. These are both in fragrance free. I do really like their stuff in eucalyptus scent, like the body wash. So I definitely recommend trying their products if you haven't yet. And I have a discount code with them. So I'll have it in my description box and link their products. But they're so good. I think that they're super worth it. And I did want to say that if you guys were watching my TikTok and you wanted to know who the mystery person that sent the Ritzia gift card, it was my dad's girlfriend. Oh my god, my hair right now. She wanted to say thank you because I drove them to the airport and then helped them with a couple of things when they were visiting. And so that was just really thoughtful. And... I placed an order from Aritzia because they were having their clientele sale and it ended last night at midnight so I ordered a set that I've been really wanting and a couple other things so I'll give you guys another Aritzia haul when I get it all in the mail. My addiction with Aritzia lately is just so bad but... I'm gonna bring this makeup bag with some extra face sunscreen and products in case I need it. And then this sunscreen, which is the Hawaiian Tropic SPF 30. I love the smell of this brand of sunscreen. And then the spray is also so easy to put on and reapply. And then I have my book. This one I'm currently reading is The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. So I'll probably just wanna be able to read a little bit when I'm there. And there's actually a new book that I've been wanting to get. So I'm gonna order that or pick that up soon. I just love reading lately, you guys. And then I also, I'm gonna wear this bikini. This purple color is so good. It's from White Fox, so I'll link this. And then these shorts, which I got from Aritzia. They are the Goldie Parker Long Shorts, and this is the color that they're in. But I love these shorts, you guys. The quality is so good, and also this color of blue. I am obsessed with and I haven't worn them yet so it'll be fun to 
wear some new shorts and then I also am going to do these sunnies and then just my slides for shoes and then I have this beach tote that I'll put everything in. I actually got this tote you guys at Hobby Lobby for like $10 before I went to Cabo a couple years ago so I don't know if they still have it but nothing like a cheap beach tote. So fun you guys we had the best girls day and we were talking about how we want to do it again and invite the boys so like Brandon Brian and Austin can come and just hang out with us and then next time we would get a cabana I swear every time I go to film after I've showered it starts dripping right when I turn the camera on my shower was so good though and it's now 4.55, so I was there for like the entire day, and I put sunscreen on, but I got a little color. Not like burnt, but um, a little tiny pink or red. I don't know where my comb is. Good morning, you guys. I just made my coffee, and... I have gotten a lot of questions about the espresso machine. It is the Breville Barista Touch, if you don't know which one it is. And I do really love it. Some of you guys have been wanting to know if I think it's worth the money and a good investment. And I definitely think it is. I have used it like every single day. I've definitely gone out for coffee less. Like I've still been going out to coffee some days. But I like that I can make basically a Starbucks at home. And I mostly use the Starbucks medium roast coffee beans or the Pete's medium roast. So... Yeah, it's definitely a good one, but I made my coffee this morning, and I'm going to get ready to go to a workout. I just need to make my bed before I leave, and then change into a workout set. Probably have to drink my coffee in the car, but that's what's up this morning. You guys, I'm unwell after that class today. I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like... I cannot show my face on camera like this, but then I was like, you know what? This is the truth. That was so hard. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> I like have no, no word to say because I'm just out of breath and exhausted. I need water. We had to do so many different exercises and one of them was lunges and then you are holding a kettlebell. Every time you lunge, you switch hands that the kettlebell is in and then you switch sides that you're lunging. Whew, it was very difficult and we were doing it for so long. There's like this, oh, little truck in the way. Anyways. I'm glad I got the workout done early because now it's like 9.08 and I can go home. Actually, I'm going to go to Target right now because I need to get laundry detergent. I forgot to buy that and I have to wash my workout clothes and then I think I have a lot of darks to do. I also want to do towels, so I have a lot of laundry just because I need a pack for my trip that's coming up tomorrow. I leave at 6 in the morning and I haven't filled you in on where I'm going and stuff so I'll give you all of the updates but my cousin Taylor is getting married at the end of this year and so her bridal shower is this weekend on Friday and then also her bachelorette party but the bridal shower is in Seattle and I'm not in the wedding so I am just like going because I got invited she wanted me to come to everything and there's actually a lot of people in the wedding there's 10 groomsmen and 10 bridesmaids 
and they were having like such a hard time like picking everyone and whatever because they have just like so many friends but anyways the bridal shower is on Friday in Seattle at my aunt's house but I want to see Lauren because I haven't seen her for a really long time so I'm going to sorry this lighting is so bad I'm going to um Seattle tomorrow to stay with Lauren for a couple of days I'm gonna stay with her Wednesday night Thursday night then my cousin Taylor's gonna pick me up so that I can go to her bridal shower and then that evening on Friday we actually fly from Seattle to Scottsdale for the bachelorette party and the bachelorette party is that weekend but since I'm already in Scottsdale I want to see my mom so I'm gonna go see my mom after that for a couple of days and stay with her till Tuesday. I probably would stay with my mom like an extra day or so, but she's going to Mexico on Tuesday. So I can only see her for like two days. But yeah, that I know was like a lot. There's so much happening. I'm gonna film like a bunch of different vlogs because I know that it's just gonna be a lot. So I'll film different videos for you guys. So you can come along to all of it. And I just have a lot to pack today because I have different dinners that I have to pack for, events for the bachelorette party, I need casual outfits. So I have so much to get ready for that. And I want to get it all done like earlier in the day today. So. I'm gonna go to Target right now, start getting laundry done and figuring out my outfits. Thankfully, I did get a lot of clothes from White Box, so I'm happy that I have stuff from them and then also some new pieces from Aritzia. So I have ideas in my head of like what I wanna wear, but I'm just not for sure on like everything. I have a mini Target haul. I just bought some Tide detergent. This is the original one and my mom used this on our clothes growing up and then I started using it. I cannot steer away from it. I just love I love the way it makes my clothes smell so I don't know maybe eventually I'll try a new one but I just really like that one and then I got some RX bars the peanut butter ones comes with four bars in the box I figured this would be good to grab just so I can bring them on the plane and have a snack with me on my trip and then I also bought this toothpaste it's the Sensodyne clean and fresh sensitivity and gum toothpaste it's fluoride toothpaste for sensitive teeth but I kind of have sensitive teeth and I've never tried this one so I wanted to get it and then I also bought some makeup remover wipes a little mini Listerine and Cetaphil lotion and then I also bought this jar for my espresso beans this one is more airtight than the last one that I bought and I like the wood lid but I'm gonna start doing some laundry right now it's a little bit later right now it is 2 46 and oh my gosh you guys my phone this just reminded me yesterday when I was in the pool I dropped my phone in the pool and I know they're waterproof so obviously it's fine but it was terrifying like I had it set up to film like a clip of us all in the water and then it just plopped down in there and it was recording and then I took it out of the water and it was still filming and I was like oh my god but yeah I'm happy it still works I have been in my room for so many hours just trying on different outfits, putting together what I want to bring with me. I also made myself a second iced coffee, which I'm almost done with. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about my progress so far. I'm going to pack my pillowcase with me. I like bringing my own pillowcase when I go on trips, especially when I'm not staying with friends or family. And this one is so soft. I do want to thank Blissy for sponsoring the video today, but this is a completely natural and hypoallergenic silk pillowcase, but it definitely helps me get a better night's sleep. It's good for your hair and your skin. And the one thing that I love about it is that it stays cool throughout the night. I need a cold pillow when I'm sleeping and the best feeling is when you wake up in the middle of the night and you flip the pillowcase. Oh, it is so good. Like, it just feels so cold and... I also think that I just wake up feeling a lot more refreshed, but like I said, it's also good for your hair. It reduces hair breakage up to 43% just because it's such a smooth surface. So there's a lot of benefits to it, but 
I just need to sleep on this. So I'm bringing it with me and they have a ton of different colors in their pillowcases. They also have some other great products too. I really like their scrunchies and then their headband. I use that a lot when I'm doing my skincare or my makeup. But I think that their pillowcases are like obviously great for yourself, but they're a good gift too. And it's wedding season right now. So perfect for a bridal shower or even a birthday, literally any holiday or like season you could give it to someone. And I also think it's thoughtful too, because then when they go to sleep at night, like they can think of you and remember that you got it for them. But you can see that like the quality is so good and the material is just so soft. And I do have a discount code right now with Blissey. So you just want to go to blissey.com slash babyhey and you'll get an additional 30% off plus free worldwide shipping. Again, you just want to go to it's B-L-I-S-S-Y dot com slash babyhey and you'll get an additional 30% off and free worldwide shipping. I really do think it helps my sleep at night. I definitely get better night's sleep and like I said, it's great for your hair and your skin. There's so many benefits to it and I think that you guys will love it. So if you haven't ordered one yet, you definitely need to. I know so many of you loved it last time and you were saying that you wanted it. So you should definitely get it. I'm going to bring mine with me. I also need to get my hair stuff together and my skincare together. So I have quite a few other things to like put together, but I have a lot of outfits already ready. So I'm feeling good about that. I am obsessed with this leather set and I haven't worn it yet. I'll try some of them on for you so you can see what the outfit actually looks like. But I'm thinking about wearing this tomorrow night for dinner. And then I have this outfit that I could wear during the day. I'm not sure if I want to wear a plain white tee or a graphic. So I brought both. And then I have another dinner outfit. This one is a little bit more casual than this one because Lauren and I are going to go to two dinners and then on Friday for the bridal shower I think I want to wear this dress and then we're flying to Scottsdale that night so I think I'm just going to wear some Lululemon leggings and then we're getting t-shirts for the bachelorette so I'll probably just wear the t-shirt with some leggings and then on Saturday we're going to brunch so I thought that this dress might be kind of cute for brunch but I have some other options just in case. And then we're going to dinner that night. I'm not really sure what the vibe is and what the other girls are wearing. So I have two different dress options. We're doing like a fancier dinner and then going out right after. So I could either wear this blue one or I have this black one. And then on Sunday, we're just kind of having a pool day. I don't know if I'll need like an outfit. So I have just a white tank from Aritzia. And I love these Babaton tanks, you guys. They're such good quality. And they have a ton of different colors and styles. So I just got this plain white one and then my a goldie shorts i could also wear this outfit on monday the next day if i end up just wearing like a swimsuit the whole day and then we're supposed to be going to like somewhat casual dinner so i thought that this t-shirt and skirt set might be good for that but yeah like i said i will put some of the outfits on for you so you can see what they look like and then i have some shoes down here that i think i'm gonna bring just some sneakers and then i have a couple different heels these pairs are the exact same just one's black and then one's white and then i really like the style of this one i know it's kind of a lot of shoes but i'm gone for a while and i have so many different like events and things i have to dress for so i don't really care if i overpack for this trip this is one of the sets that i'm gonna bring and i haven't worn this yet but i've been dying to wear it i got the pants taken in on the waist so they fit a lot better now and i feel like this is just such a good outfit to wear in seattle because it's colder there i don't think it's even 70 degrees yet but it's just this leather corset top and then matching leather pants but it's so cute and i was thinking about doing this with some black heels and then also my black gucci bag so i'll do this purse right here i like the gold with this color leather so this will be the bag 
And then in case I get cold, I was thinking about doing a blazer. And I like that this one is the same color as the set. I just feel like this is a vibe with a matching set. I don't know. I didn't want to wear a leather jacket just because I feel like leather on leather would be a bit much. But this is really cute together. So this will be one outfit for tomorrow night i'm pretty sure this is the next outfit that would be for more of a casual dinner the top is from aritzia and i love these tube tops i also got it in white and then the pants are from princess polly i also forgot to mention that the entire outfit the last outfit was all from princess polly but for this one i wanted to show you guys it with the shoes on i just feel like the heels make this outfit and yeah, the pants are so flattering. I like how fitted they are. And then since it's going to be colder in Seattle, I was thinking of doing this leather jacket or just a leather jacket in general. I might wear one of Lauren's and then not pack mine. But this is the Cali leather jacket from Princess Polly. And I like how casual it is. Like it makes an outfit more chill. And it's also really comfortable. But this is what the outfit looks like with the jacket on. And I think that this one is super cute too. This is what I'm going to wear for the bridal shower. I was reading the itinerary. They sent like a whole list of like events and outfit ideas and whatnot. But this dress I think would be good for the bridal shower. Just because it says it's going to be outside the whole time. And I feel like it's classy. I also like the color of it. Because it's like a light green. But I don't know. It's still neutral. And I just paired it with my white bag and then these white block heels. I was also thinking too that if I start getting a little bit cold, I could put my blazer on and it matches pretty well. I do like the outfit better without the blazer, but it's a good option. And the dress is from White Fox. I got it a while ago, but I'll link it if they still have it. This is one of the casual outfits I planned for Arizona. I really love this top because you don't have to wear a bra and it's not see-through at all. It's also really stretchy so you can size down. I got a two extra small in it. And then the shorts I am obsessed with. They are such a good staple summer short. And I'll link them on Revolve for you guys. I checked Aritzia and they're completely sold out in every size. And then the shipping is delayed. And then I checked a Revolve and they're fully stocked. So you definitely want to get them from Revolve. I just love the blue color and they're very comfortable. But the one thing with the shorts is you do want to size down. I got a 23 and I still have like quite a bit of room in the waist. So they run pretty big. This is the last outfit that I'm going to show you guys. Also, sorry if it's loud. There's like a concert or something happening now outside of my apartment and they're playing music. But anyways, I got this bucket hat from Urban and then I have on this bikini from White Fox. I love the ombre. I just recently got this one and it's so cute. But I wanted to mostly show you guys these pants, which I just ordered from Nordstrom. I've been really wanting a pair of linen pants for summer, just for pool days or if I ever go to the beach or whatever. And I saw some on Revolve that I thought were so cute. And then I looked at the price and they were over $200. And I was like, absolutely not. I am not going to spend over $200 on linen pants for the pool. So I found these ones from Nordstrom. And they are the Caslon brand. They were only $59. But I got them in two different sizes so I could see how they fit. I ordered a small petite and an extra small petite. And... This is a small, which I like better because I feel like the other ones were a little bit too tight in the thighs and I want these type of pants to be just like baggy and comfortable. Like I don't really care if they're loose in the waist, especially because they tie. But yeah, they're a good beach pant and for the price, like that makes it even better. But I just paired it with these black sandals. So a cute summer outfit to wear to the pool or beach or whatever and I have um, some other bikinis that I'm bringing but I just wanted to show you guys with this one on but yeah I'll link the pants because I think that they're so good my suitcase is from Calpac and I also have packing cubes from them which I love the suitcase came in a set so I got a big one and then a carry-on but I'm not going to use 
the carry-on. I'm just gonna use the big one and then my duffel bag. I know that I just need to check a suitcase, but these help me stay so much more organized when I am going on a trip. I have one other one that I need to find. I don't know where I put it, maybe in this closet? I don't know where the other one is right now, but I'm just gonna start with putting everything in my suitcase. got pretty much everything all packed up and this is why I love the packing cube so much because I feel like it makes your suitcase so much more organized like I know outfits that I have for Seattle and Arizona and then loungewear put all my shoes on this side and I'm gonna put all of my products like my hair care skin care makeup and um, anything else like in my duffel bag. So this is mostly just for my clothes, but I'm all done, which I'm very happy about.